Welcome to another day of In the Garden with Pastor Evangelist Neil Gottman, planting seeds of hope from God's Word. Well, good morning again. You know, uh, uh, we just uh, are so happy that you've tuned in again for another uh, little devotion here in the garden. Uh, we just look through God's Word and try to find little nuggets of awesomeness, uh, the things, little seeds that can be planted in the fertile soil of our hearts. And I pray that this morning uh, and uh, over this next week or so, we concentrate on just seeing Jesus of who and what he really is, that it'll be a blessing to you, that uh, you will just be, be blessed by it. I want to speak this morning on the fact that Jesus is our foundation. He is our rock. He is the solid foundation, the solid rock of our life. When we stand upon Him, we're standing certainly on solid ground. Uh, the old prophet Isaiah uh, wrote something like this. He said, Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily. And I will make justice the measuring line and righteousness the plummet. The hail will sweep away the refuge of lies. He said, if you're standing on the rock, if you're putting your hope and your, your uh, counting on the fact that Jesus is your Lord, Jesus is your Savior, uh, you are standing on a really firm foundation. I think probably one of the most well-known hymns uh, ever, ever written uh, and sung so many, many times throughout the ages in churches of every denomination and across the, the country is the old hymn, Rock of Ages. It's a wonderful hymn. Um, it seems like in today's genre, we, we don't hear it as much as we used to hear it. It used to be that just about every church that I went to as an evangelist and preached and taught, that at some point in time through the services, they would sing this song, Rock of Ages, because it says so much concerning uh, the subject uh, of today. It says, Rock of Ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the waters and the blood from the, thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure, save from wrath and make me pure. Do you understand the theology there? If we're standing on the rock, if we've come to Christ and we're in Christ, not only are we saved from wrath, not only are we saved from that great tribulation time and we will be taken into glory, but we are also in God's eyes, we are made pure. Because when God now looks at us, He looks at us as standing on that rock, clothed in majesty, the majesty of Jesus Christ. He said, could my tears forever flow? Could my zeal no longer know? These for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. In my hand no price I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. You see, friend, that's, once again, incredibly good theology. It, it is telling us that the only way to heaven is through our rock, Jesus Christ, who laid his arms wide open, was nailed to a cross, bore our sin there on that old rugged cross, died and went to hell, rose again on the third day, ascended back into heaven, is coming again one day as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I pray that you're prepared for that. He said, while I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyelids shall close in death, when I rise to worlds unknown and behold thee on thy throne, rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful thought. Dear friend, can I ask you again this morning, are you standing on the rock? Are you really standing on the rock? Or somehow through all of this 
business that's going on out here with all the virus talk and all the craziness and the right now with all the uh, the election things coming up and the politics that are going on and all the lies and the rumors and the stuff that's floating around. Um, sometimes I guess it could make you a little bit shaky unless you're standing on the solid rock. If every morning, every day, you can get up, stand on the rock, put on the full armor of God, and walk out with the confidence that you are in Christ and Christ is in you, dear friend, what can harm you? What can really harm you? The world wants to challenge you. The world wants to do away with your faith. The world wants to challenge your faith on every corner, on every way. But you must, you must, we must, we must continue to stand on the rock of our salvation. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from your riven side which flowed be for sin a double cure, save from wrath and make us pure. I pray you will have a wonderful blessed day today. God bless you. You, as you walk with Christ and you stand on that rock today. Folks, I know that during these difficult days and going through this uh, virus and so forth, there's a lot of depression, there's a lot of misunderstanding, there's a lot of discouragement, uh, there's a lot of uh, just uh, don't know what's going on, wondering what, what to do, what not to do. But I do want to say to you this morning that if you just trust God and really look to Him, He will bring you through this. Uh, you know, here at New Faith Community Church in Holopal, Florida, we, uh, we continue to have a, a great time of service, uh, even though uh, we try to be as much as we possibly can. We try to be safe and secure, and we don't want to pass this on to anyone. But we have to come together to some degree, in some way, some place, in order to be encouraging to one another. We have to have some fellowship. We have to somehow feel like we're a part of something. Um, if you can't make it to church, we, can, we have our services at 9.30 on Sunday morning in Hola Paul, Florida. But if you can't make it, we have a website that you can go to and we stream our services at holopaw.church. Just go to YouTube and, and put in holopaw.church. Father, I pray that you would wipe away today the anxiety, the frustration, the depression that is out there, and we just take authority over it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. And we believe, Father, that you're going to release folks right now, right this moment, from those things that are bringing them down. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Savior. And we believe, Father, that you're going to release folks right now, right this moment, from those things that are bringing them down. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen.